Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a version upgrade for Brave Browser. Version 1.77, which rolled out late yesterday in my part of the world. Now to check, we have the update as always, we head to our main menu, help about Brave. And latest version in bold is 1.77.95. And the Chromium platform has also been bumped up to the latest version, 135.0.7. 049.52. Now, first of all, just to talk about the security fixes that have rolled out for the Chromium platform, and these would be our weekly security fixes. We get 14 security fixes that have been made available. And out of the 14 vulnerabilities that have been patched, one is high severity, which is listed as use after free in navigations, and the rest are medium and then low. And thankfully, once again, there are no zero days exploited in the wild or any critical vulnerabilities for this week. Now, when it comes to the actual browser version upgrade, there's quite a lot going on um, in version 1.77. If you are using the Web3 cryptocurrency side of things, Brave Wallet, there's a couple of add-ons, updates and fixes. So if you are using that and um, have experienced some issues, just make you sh sure you get the updates sooner than later. And then in regards to the AR side of things, the Leo AR chatbot, they've also rolled out three improvements taking place under the hood for Brave Leo. And then if you are using Brave Rewards, they've added next earnings payout date to the home view. So here you can see next earnings payout date and they give you that date and I actually think if you are using rewards that is a nice move uh, in the right direction. Now focusing on a whole lot of different general new features and add-ons and improvements and fixes. First of all they've added use vertical tabs option to the toolbar context menu and I actually think this is a very small yet significant update where you just right click now and you've got use vertical tabs and there we go and you can just right click again on that toolbar and you can close vertical tabs and I think that's a very nice move in the right direction. And then there are two security fixes that have rolled out um, for the actual browser itself and those are all taking place under the hood. And then they've enabled on device suggestions for all search providers. So if that would be all the different search engines now get on device suggestions. And they've also updated the default search engine to Yahoo for new installations in the Japan region. So obviously that's region specific. And then if we head into our settings, privacy and security, security, they've updated the safe browsing standard protection setting description which reads protects against sites, downloads and extensions that are known to be dangerous. And for the life of me, I don't know what it was before that, but they say they've updated that description. And they've also updated the focus border color on the URL bar to match user selected theme. And Brave says they have also updated the icons on the tab groups menu. So those have been updated according to Brave. They've updated the menu icon on the extensions drop down. So apparently that should have a little bit of an upgrade from what it was previously. And then we get eight bug fixes. I'm just going to mention some of these, not all of them. First of all, they fixed a crash on macOS in certain cases, so that's important. And they fixed an issue where some pin tabs are hidden at startup in vertical tab mode on Windows. And then we get another vertical tab. They fixed detached window being hidden during tab dragging in vertical tab. And then there's a third vertical tab fix where they fixed the detached tab in new window, not being rendered properly until releasing the mouse press when using vertical tabs. So three vertical tab fixes that have rolled out. So if you are using vertical tabs, then obviously that should address any issues you have been having. And then they fixed the inability to resize sidebar panels 
in certain cases. And they also fixed the hamburger menu being cut off in certain locations on Windows and Linux. So that's a small niggly little issue that's been sorted out. So guys, that's more or less what's new in this latest release of Brave version 1.77 with Chrome 135. And now in regards to the Chromium based web browsers, we are still waiting for Microsoft Edge to roll out and be upgraded to version 135. So if we don't get that later today, I'm sure that we will be getting that later tomorrow sometime. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.